Hey, let's hit it with the late, great James Randi. James Randi in this session is going to be debunking a, whether he's a magician, whether he's a psychic, whatever this person ends up calling themselves. Um, obviously an older recording because we have um, a darker haired Bob Barker in the picture here. I remember when he had gray hair back in the 90s. So I'm thinking this goes back to maybe the mid 70s or early 80s. But let's see how James Randi debunks this psychic slash musician. Uh, <laughs> musician. <laughs> Magician. Right on this stage, you are going to meet a man who claims he can move physical objects using only the powers of his mind. All of us are very pleased, not just pleased, but excited to have you with us. Now, you claim to have psychic powers, don't yes. you? Yes, I do. Is this something that you have discovered? Yep, here he is with his psychic powers. He's going to give a couple demonstrations, and then the master, James Randi, is going to come out and more or less demonstrate how he did it, or doesn't do it. Heard recently, or have you known of it since childhood? How did it all begin? Well, everyone's born with it. It's just a matter of development. What are you going to do, James? I'm going to move a pencil for you. With just psychic powers? Just psychic powers. Very well. Now, this is the other thing that always cracks me up with, whether it's a psychic or a magician, is like, hand movements and then he does a head thing where he he does like a twitch with his head um not constantly but you can see in certain segments where he'll go something like that and then he's got his little gesturing that he does too well look at that is it true that you can also turn the pages of this telephone directory? Yes, it is. And you will do that for us? I'll try. Should I take the pencil off the table? Sh yes. All right. There you are, James. You would like to open it to any page, or should you I'll, want me to do it? I'll be happy to. Hmm. Ready? Yeah. Now that's an interesting one because from the way I see that clip, the page is moving almost before his little hand gesture starts. Let's rewind that just a hair and, and review that. It's almost like the page is moving almost simulta simultaneously with that hand. So, let's keep going. The amazing Randy maintains that you did not use psychic power, but that it was trickery. Hmm. And he is prepared to pay you $10,000 if you can do it using psychic power. Here he is, the amazing Randy. The late, great James Randy. James, Randy, Randy, Randy. Now, you saw James' demonstration from backstage. Yes, I did. And do you accept that as a demonstration of psychic power, or do you believe that he used trickery? I don't accept it as a demonstration of psychic power, Bob. I think that the solution is rather simple. I think that Mr. Heydrich is merely to accomplish this effect blowing on both the page and on the pencil. And the reason is rather simple, because the pencil reacts to even the currents of the air conditioning in this studio. It will be very difficult to try to put controls on it in such a way that normal currents of air that are present all the time would not move the pencil. For example, it moves very, very easily. All right, you're not going to ask him to do that. That's one down, one to go, James. You are prepared to pay him $10,000. $10,000 if he can get the phone directory page to turn without touching it in any way. If he can turn the page of the telephone directory 
with certain controls. Is That's that right. right. Since my theory, as yet unproven, of course, is that it's accomplished simply by blowing, though rather cleverly, I must admit, done, there should be a way, a simple way, without a lot of instrumentation, to demonstrate that fact by using one very simple control. Now, what I have here is particles of a one. <laughs> This is the classic part. I just love the fact that he puts these, in this case, he's using little, I guess if you want to call them packing peanuts, or little strands of foam. I guess you could use, um, you could use confetti, you could use little small strips of paper to gain the same effect, but I, I just love how he, he spreads all this stuff around. White plastic, which when given a good puff, good heavy puff of air, will, I think, rather conclusively show whether or not blowing is a method accomplished. Now, it will not, perhaps, in some way, differentiate between genuine psychic power and actual blowing, but it certainly should be very interesting indeed to see what... Now, just a sidebar note, though. Um, I did spend some time in a packing facility, and I will admit that foam of this caliber and packing peanuts will have a um a static electricity to them um which the magician will make mention of later in his um in his presentation here but let's just continue on and and see what the conclusive result is now occur james ready Again, I love I love the hand gesturing. You get so much, depending on how you're using your hands, you can get so much anticipation out of a crowd by using your hands. James, you had another question. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it? What would you like okay. to ask? The styrofoam and the lights form electricity which pulls the page. Look. It pulls the page. So he feels that the foam pieces around the book are creating enough static electricity to hold those pages down, which, again, I already mentioned that I did spend some time uh, in the packing industry, and there's no, like, even, like, in this day and age, when you open a package from Amazon, granted, Amazon doesn't have packing peanuts. They use those airbags. But I have seen in the past where foam peanuts will create a static, which, in this case, I don't think is his problem. I think I agree with James Randi about the blowing aspect. But anyway, keep uh, keep going here. Down instead of free in the pages. I'll just lift up one, two. Lift them in a bunch, if you would, uh, Bob. Just take them about a quarter of an inch of them. All right, there, yeah, like that. That's fine. Gently place them down gently so it doesn't disturb the foam. I know. Uh, well, oh, I thought you. Oh, well, the other way. Them. Yeah, the other way. That's what I thought you meant. Would that sure be helpful to you? The static is going to still be here because of the foam. See, that's well, it is the opinion of the judges that there is not enough static formed by the, the foam to be a problem. So, Yeah, he just doesn't want to blow on it and, and show himself up as a fraud is, is what ultimately is happening. Because as soon as he puffs on that, it's going to create a crater in those foam pieces. So, uh, under the conditions agreed upon, it uh, would seem that now you should at least try with psychic power to turn the page of the telephone directory, James. Okay. Now look at him smirking in this section. He's tilting his head down and he's got a big old grin on his face because he's no, he knows he's not going to be able to do it. Oh, oh, 
more hand gesturing. <laughs> Can't do it. Sorry. It's not going to uh, turn for you? No, it isn't. This isn't a magician's trick. I can't just come up, bang, bang, and it's over. I have to be to where I can work with something small and then big, you know, to build up my own self. James has not won the $10,000 with this demonstration. So it seems. Now, you have heard what uh, James's explanation is. Do you have any comment to make on that? Bob, the, the comment very briefly is that I have gone through many hundreds of these tests with many hundreds of people who claim to have psychic powers. And quite frankly, it's more or less the same story every time. When a simple, direct, very uncomplicated protocol is used and the control is applied, the psychic forces don't seem to be present, if indeed they are ever present at all. Create a professional logo. Which I would definitely agree with because... Um, I'll be the first one to tell you, I have not watched a lot of James Randy's stuff, but um, he definitely gets some people in some rather interesting and peculiar situations based on their, you know, their ability to see auras, or their ability to have psychic powers, or their ability to do whatever. And we'll see you in the next one.